hello and welcome everybody, I am Madam the Silly Host and we are back at playing some Minecraft. I should be a little bit honest, uh, in the past uh, few weeks uh, I have spent most of my time deep down in the ground mining uh, and that wasn't really interesting at all to show you, to share videos and such, so I didn't achieve much. Uh, but uh, in the past uh, few days I have actually made some buildings, <laughs> so let me show you them. Uh, the very first one is this big tower-like structure that I made mostly out of bricks uh, and also some nether bricks and stuff like that. Uh, um, it might look interesting, it might not, but I really like it, uh, especially the colors, how it came out. Uh, the inside is not much. I was thinking about uh, what to make here. Uh, I had an idea that I will try to uh, get some witches into minecarts to trap them and transport them here somewhere to uh, populate this place uh, in a way or another. Uh, that wouldn't be really easy or safe at all, but... Uh, I think that I will give it a shot uh, at some point. I mean, I have the uh, witches spawning at my sky mob farm far there, but uh, yeah, yeah, we shall see. I mean, I think it would look nice, like some sort of a magical alchemist tower. Um, so yeah, I think that I will try that. The second building that I have built is actually my music disc shop where I am selling all kinds of music discs, uh, well, except Pickstep, because, uh, yeah, I don't really have many of that, like two pieces, that's all, so that's not much, but um, most of all the other music discs, I, I mean, there are some where I don't have many at all, <laughs> like, um, yeah, that's because these are music discs that I have found throughout my journeys and adventures, so... Uh, there's that. As you can see, I built this place out of uh, birch wood, uh, red sand and sandstone, and I really like how it turned out. I am rather happy with this design. I mean, uh, yeah, also or, uh, orange concrete powder, I think. That was the one. Look at this nice cozy place. I mean, the design is not perfect because initially I was like, I wanted to make a building that is not a rectangle, like no normal like walls. So this building became a little weird walls going all through the places, everything. And uh, yeah, it turned out a little weird. Uh, I made a kind of hidden wall here with uh, bands that I like or music that I like, or, well, whatever, between those two things. <laughs> um, the second level is not much, it's mostly hidden, uh, sometimes not even <laughs> well. <laughs> but it uh, adds to the building, I, I mean, it kind of makes it uh, taller and nicer. Uh, the roof is not much either, but, uh, well, I tried my best, I guess, so... Uh, these are the two buildings that I have managed to build in the city and I have uh, so many more plans as you can see I made actually more roads to uh, pretty much to just break up these huge uh, 20 by 20 plots and um, to try to make um, like smaller buildings I would like to make like a tavern a library and I have many more ideas I just need to get in the right uh, building mood which I actually had a nice streak of lately I also have some updates uh, in my city where I have did uh, well, quite some work I mean sometimes um, I really get the time so what I plan on doing here I don't know if I said it or not but the current plan is to make a cave-like system as you can see 
and what I would like to make to make some sort of a dragon there with the dragon sword. I mean diamonds, golds, whatever, riches really. Uh, and that would be the basic idea to fill in this huge hole that I have made there by draining the ocean. Um, aside from that, I also worked out uh, uh, a staircase system well, and some other systems. So let me show this to you. So I have made this system where you can get to many places well i mean some places is just like still nothing i have to figure it out at some point but uh, other doors lead us to the uh, various farms automated or manual i mean they kind of work i guess i mean you can get to every single level via doors and uh, i have also finally managed to move the animals down here so they don't look bad in the small village uh, they look much nicer here see they are having fun oh i also got rabbits finally <laughs> oh yeah they look rather nice like this uh, i actually went to the nearby desert and got some desert rabbits i think it was two but as you can see, uh, when I was breeding them, they got some other colors, that grayish color. And I wonder if, uh, if it's random or just a mistake, I don't know. Another thing that I wanted to have uh, is some llamas. They were a little harder to get, uh, definitely, because I don't really have the right biomes nearby. So it took me quite some time and uh, rowing the boat to get a couple here, but uh, now, uh, yeah, I mean, I think it was worth it. I also would like, oh, how did you get in there? Hmm. Anyway, I would also like to get foxes. I really would love to get a couple of foxes here to breed them up and have a nice foxy family. Uh, and I don't even know what uh, other um, animals uh, I could get, but uh, well, we shall see that, I guess. And yeah, I also spent quite some time making all these passages, stairways, water elevators and such. Uh, mostly just to make my life a little bit easier around this place because I realized that I was like uh, flying around I had to take all, all kinds of detours when I was moving from one place to the other so it was just uh, so hard sometimes so I realized that yes I will actually make stairways all over the place that will help me move around and they really did help also to connect the various storage areas so I can just move around them, do whatever I must. I mean, as you can see, I can travel all around the place now with these. And this just makes my life so much easier. Oh yeah, I also made a little mechanical room, I mean... Yeah, they don't do much, but uh, <laughs> I mean, the diamond uh, that I have found when I excavated this little room. I mean, <laughs> manual fixer doer. <laughs> I mean, just <laughs> I really just made things up here all the time. You can come here. There is alchemist laboratory. You can go down again back to the storage areas. Uh, oh, I also made a glazed terracotta storage. Uh, well, this is the whole thing, it's there, pretty much. I, what I actually did, is I actually made another house that I will show you soon, where I am housing uh, uh, the masons. My goal is to have uh, every single nicely colored glazed terracotta, to have as much as I can. Uh, my first uh, idea was that so I can sell them, but uh, the problem is that it takes so much time and emeralds to get these, because they are selling like 
one piece of terracotta for one emerald that's the best uh, trade that they are willing to make so this costs me like two and a half stacks of emeralds and uh, yeah that's a little expensive and um, also the time they are willing to sell me 12 uh, pieces of terracotta at a time then they need to recharge and they recharge only like two or three times a day so I can have uh, 24 to 36 pieces of terracotta per 20 minutes in real life. So that's like, yeah, I'm not sure I would want to spend all my time doing this, but still, um, I might give it a shot, but I might not. Uh, the only problem is that there is I managed to get uh, masons who do 15 uh, of the 16 terracottas. The orange glazed one is the one that still eludes me. I haven't got a mason yet who is willing to make that. And the problem is that at this point, um, I was doing this yesterday and I have spent all the day trying to breed up villagers, get them to the uh the mason's hall uh and try them to make them to do glazed terracotta i mean like about half of the masons is not willing to make any of uh, glazed terracotta they just give you some random terracotta um but never orange none of them wanted to give me even orange terracotta which i could smell down to make the glazed one so chances of getting that is like pretty low i won't give up on it but uh, it will take me some time till i will get there that's for sure and we are here once again Ooh, let me show you a secret room i mean it's not really a secret at this point i guess but <laughs> i had this small crawl space between uh, the main staircase between storage room the chicken room so i just <laughs> this is utter silliness i guess but yeah now it's not a secret anymore because you people have seen it <laughs> um anyway uh, you can see this is the way where the glazed terracotta is coming in from the trading hall that I made for the masons. And well, yeah, I, I mean, it was masonry and everything and I wanted to make it out of bricks. Um, I used the dark oak logs to break up uh, the texture and I think it's really nice, especially with those... Uh, how do you call those lanterns? I don't even know. Soul, soul lanterns or something like that. Yeah, I really should use more of them because they kind of look nicer than the normal lanterns. Although problem is they don't emit enough light to light up the place. So they are like visually great. Like I think I did them uh, on my island too. Yeah, you can see that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, moves are spawning all over the place so i will have to figure out a way to mend those uh yeah i have to get rid of the golems anytime once again and if you look inside look at the roof all 16 kinds of glazed terracotta in nice patterns i think i put them down the right way although i am not a hundred percent hundred percent sure in some cases because uh, yeah they are look so weird but also so beautiful together like this and uh, yeah that's the orange one that el eludes me I actually had to fly out to a, a Badlands biome to get some orange terracotta that I smelted down to get those ones because these villagers are not really willing to sell me the ones I get but as you can see I can actually show you um, how badly they trade like this like and this is one trade 12 so it's uh, really not easy 
to get these guys to get the right ones that I would really like to have. But, um, well, I mean, I'm kind of like, I could live with that. Oh, back to that uh, hopper system that comes somewhere around the, beneath the floor and comes to this chest. So uh, all I have to do when I did the trade to just put in here and they go to the storage room immediately. Uh, that's an easier way to hold these things, I guess. Uh, as you can see, there are like one, two places for more of these guys. I mean, of course, I only need the orange glazed terracotta, so I have to get those. But in order to get that, I have to use this uh, not really efficient transport system to get some villagers from here, which is not easy. Oh. Especially this way when they are not breathing because uh, yeah, I obviously forgot to uh, give them their carrots. I mean, ah, seriously, I mean, have your carrots. Oh, they actually wake up to get the carrots. Nice. Okay, which means that when they wake up, then they will breed and get some villagers for me because yeah. Oh, I also have kitties. Try to be next to the wall because there are so many golems that walk around. Yeah, I really have to get rid of some golems. Oh, I also feel this little house uh, with stuff. Problem is that villagers actually came in and started to become uh, alchemists, librarians and stuff because I managed to put down all the right things <laughs> which make them do things. So I couldn't get rid of this guy. Um, well, I actually could, but um, so I just blocked off the door so they can come in. Oh, I have to be aware of these golems. Uh, I think they killed me like at least one time, maybe twice. I don't even know. Yeah, two times. I got killed by golems two times. One time is uh, I was killed by a creeper. One time I was uh, I fall off the sky. I still don't know how the elytra stopped working. It didn't lose its durability. It was all okay. I just stopped in the sky and fall down and didn't notice that uh, I was falling in time. So yeah, and I think I died a fifth time too, but uh, I don't know what that was. Uh, anyway, so uh, I think uh, this is it for now. So, as you can see, I actually made some progress, uh, I made some nice buildings, uh, but uh, on the other hand, I haven't uh, played any uh, on my friend's server, so I haven't achieved anything there, uh, but maybe next time. Uh, I think that this will be <laughs> good for now, even like this. So, anyway, thank you for watching, if you enjoyed this video... Seriously? Dude. I mean... <sighs> okay, let's start it again. Thank you for watching. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, then please leave a comment. Like, share, subscribe, you know the drill. Uh, follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter, and as always, have a wonderful day, everybody. Bye-bye.